Kamala Harris really cares about children. In fact, she even said so. She says, I fought for children and survivors of sexual assault. I fought against transnational gangs. I took on the biggest banks and helped take down one of the biggest for-profit colleges. I know a predator when I see one. Her running mate? Really? As San Francisco District Attorney Kamala Harris' office dro- stopped cooperating with victims of Catholic Church child abuse. Thanks to Kamala Harris' predecessor, the San Francisco DA's office had files on clergy sex abusers, but Harris refused to share them with victims. When it came to taking on the Catholic Church, survivors of clergy sexual abuse say that Kamala Harris turned a blind eye, refusing to take action against clergy members accused of sexually abusing children when it meant confronting one of the city's most powerful political institutions. When Harris became San Francisco's district attorney in 2004, she took over an office that had been working closely with survivors of sexual abuse to pursue cases against the Catholic Church. The office and the survivors were in the middle of a legal battle to hold predatory priests accountable. And Harris inherited a collection of personal files, personnel files involving allegations of sexual abuse by priests and employees of the San Francisco Archdiocese. Shortly after being elected, Harris had worked with church officials and other prosecutors to conceal the clergy records. Electing to only divulge clergy abuse files over the course of a criminal investigation. Prosecutors signed a controversial, first of all, does she know how to consolidate power? One of the most powerful political organizations in the city, the Archdiocese. She's going to get them on their side. Okay. Prosecutors signed a controversial, so that's like not prosecuting John Gotti. That's what that's like. Because he's going to give you political power. Prosecutors signed a controversial protocol at the time with the Catholic Church to conceal similar sex abuse documents. Prosecutors signed a controversial protocol at the time with the Catholic Church to conceal similar sex abuse documents. So they signed a protocol. They came up with a scam to conceal this shit. That's what that means. San Francisco Weekly reported that the protocol basically puts church officials on the honor system for turning over materials that they determine may be of relevance to the district attorney. The church, so child rapers are now put on the honor system under Kamala Harris. Because she is corrupt as they come. The decision to conceal the San Francisco Archdiocese clergy abuse file stands in stark contrast to recent investigations into Catholic sex abuse across the country. But here she is, here she is dancing with kids. Look, she loves kids. Look, she loves them. Is that Bill Clinton behind her? She loves kids. She's fought for children and survivors of sexual assault. I fought for transnational gangs. I took on the biggest banks, helped take down one of the biggest for-profit. I know a predator when I see one. Yeah, I know. And then you let him off the hook. Just like you left Steve Mnuchin off the hook, too. Now he's our secretary treasurer. You know, when he was the head of One West Bank in California, Steve Mnuchin, the investigators in Kamala Harris's office said that they found a thousand cases of criminal activity at One West Bank according to her own investigators. And if they looked a little further, they would find a thousand more for sure. And she said, stop investigating. No charges. That's it. And that's why Steve Mnuchin is our Secretary of Treasury. Who will she? Who, who will she go to bat to keep in prison, though? Kamala Harris fought to keep nonviolent prisoners locked up. As California Attorney General, she spent years subverting a 2011 Supreme Court ruling requiring the state to reduce its prison population. The overseeing judicial panel nearly found the state in contempt of court. She kept those people in prison because she didn't want to upset the prison labor system, slave labor. 
That's who Kamala Harris is. These people are psychopaths. <clears throat> These people are nothing but self-interested, career-climbing, narcissistic megalomaniacs. And they don't give a shit about you. And so what do you do with someone like that? Well, as Lawrence O'Donnell taught us, as Lawrence O'Donnell taught us. If you want to pull the party, the major party that is closest to the way you're thinking, to what you're thinking, you must, you must show them that you're capable of not voting for them. If you don't show them you're capable of not voting for them, they don't have to listen to you. I promise you that. I worked within the Democratic Party. I didn't listen or have to listen to anything on the left in, while I was working in the Democratic Party because the left had nowhere to go.